Greetings, fellow redeemed. It's Pastor Beck here at Holy Cross Lutheran Church in Warda, Texas. I'm coming to you uh, late this evening on uh, Thursday. Uh, this is the day in which we celebrate the ascension of our Lord. Uh, it is the day in which we celebrate and we remember the 40 days of Jesus's bodily, physical presence with his disciples before he ascended to sit at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, as we confess in the creeds. And so today is a very special day in the church's life together. It's a day when we remember that event historically that Jesus did ascend to sit at the right hand of the Father. Um, and when we ponder the significance of the fact that Jesus has gone uh, to be ahead of us, Jesus has gone to prepare a place for us, Jesus has gone to intercede for us to the Father, um, where he has all authority in heaven and on earth. Hear the word of the Lord uh, from Luke, the 24th chapter. The very last couple of verses here in Luke's gospel. Of course, after the Emmaus disciples and after Jesus uh, shows up to the disciples saying, Peace be with you. It says, he opened their minds so that they could understand the scriptures. He told them, this is what is written. The Christ will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. And repentance and forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I am going to send you what my father has promised. But stay in the city until you've been clothed with power from on high. Then when he had led them up out to the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and he blessed them. And while he blessed them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they stayed continually at the temple, praising God. Now, that's the end of St. Luke's Gospel. And of course, Luke is also the man who wrote the book of Acts under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. And he begins there with the account of Jesus' ascension to sit at the right hand with a little bit more detail. We'll hear more about that on Sunday, uh, which reminds me, um, this is a very special Sunday in our life together here at Holy Cross because this Sunday we're going to be uh, gathering together, meeting again, once again in person on Sunday mornings. Uh, but as we ponder and we think about the uh, ascension of our Lord Jesus, um, I guess the question that comes to mind is, uh, why does Jesus seemingly leave his disciples alone? And that question might make a little bit of sense uh, for us to ask if we didn't already know that Pentecost is coming, that it's just 10 short days away. Of course, we know that Pentecost is coming. We know that Jesus uh, has said this past Sunday in our gospel lesson, I will not leave you. I will not abandon you as orphans, but instead my Father will send another helper for you, even the Spirit of truth. Jesus goes to prepare a place for us. Jesus goes because his work for the salvation of mankind, it is completed. It is finished, as he said on the cross. And now that Christ is risen, now he continues to rise to his rightful place of honor and authority and might. And now he is there ruling and reigning over all things in heaven and on earth, on our behalf, on your behalf and on mine, such that we might continue to sing his praises and such that we might look ever to the sky, hoping and trusting that he comes again in glory just any time now any moment when we least expect him. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. Amen. Again, I mentioned that we're going to be coming back to uh, in-person worship this Sunday, May the 24th, but I wanted to just clarify a couple of things because I've had a few people asking about that. Um, and first of all, I want, to, I want to do this kind of in stages. If you're not comfortable st uh, being in public, if you're not comfortable being around folks, please uh, just continue to worship from home. Uh, we will have links on our YouTube and on our Facebook pages for you to watch the entire service live. You can still download the bulletins just like you've grown used to over the last couple of months. Uh, that said, if you, are, um, if you are willing and able to get out uh, into public, but maybe you're not quite ready to get out into the full uh, experience of public with, uh, with younger kids and, and, and maybe larger groups, maybe consider our Wednesday service that'll begin on Wednesday, uh, May the 27th at 11 a.m. It'll be identical to the Sunday 
previous. Okay, and so this particular coming Sunday, we won't have communion. So this particular coming Wednesday, we won't have communion. You can still set up uh, uh, by appointment private communion services with me through the church office. Uh, that's going to uh, be something we're going to continue throughout the rest of this pandemic is if your family or you as an individual want to come in and receive the Lord's Supper, um, I'd be happy to offer that to you just any time on your schedule. Um, but so if you're not willing and, and don't feel safe coming uh, into their larger gathering on Sunday, again, the, uh, the Wednesday service is, um, is only available for folks 65 and over, um, only available to folks who are not going to be here on Sunday. Uh, that is to say, um, uh, that service is available for folks that are 65 and older. Um, if you're 65 and up, you don't have to go to that service. You can still come on Sunday. And that brings us to our, uh, our final group. And that is, if you are so ready to be back in, in, in person on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. when we ring the bell and everything else, um, then please use your best judgment. Uh, we have uh, the sanctuary marked off. We'll have an usher who will direct you uh, to the pews that you are to sit in. We're going to uh, file in, uh, first come, first serve into the sanctuary, uh, and you'll file in from the front all the way back to the back. We're going to top out at about 50, 55 people, something like that. And then after that, we'll move over into the new narthex, and we'll have plenty of room over there as well. And if absolutely necessary, we'll fill out into the uh, the fellowship hall as well. We'll have ushers who will, uh, who will direct you in that uh, that path. Um, also, all of the bulletins will already be in the pew waiting for you, uh, so there's no need to shake hands with anybody, to exchange any kind of, uh, of, of, of contact with anybody. You can uh, sanitize your hands as you come in. We are still encouraging folks to wear masks, uh, cloth masks, to cover your face whenever you come in, uh, but again, that's we're going to leave that uh, up to the individuals. That's not a mandate from us, uh, just something, an extra layer of precaution, uh, and so we do, uh, we do encourage that. Uh, but if there are any other questions, you can, of course, reach out to the, uh, to the church. Uh, you can call us there at the church office. You can comment on this video, uh, or you can send uh, an email uh, to myself or through our Facebook or YouTube pages. Um, if there is anything else that I have failed to mention, um, Please, uh, please don't hesitate to ask, but just know that at this time uh, we are exercising every bit of caution that we can uh, for the sake of our gathering together, um, that we might uh, not be anxious about gathering together, but instead that our hearts and minds might be put at ease uh, as we come together and we hear the word of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of our sins and for our salvation. So, uh, again, a very blessed Ascension Day to each and every one of you. Uh, we pray God's peace, joy, and blessings be yours in Christ. And, um, yeah, and then I'm going to leave you with a song for this evening. Uh, See the Lord ascends in glory. Uh, we pray God's blessings upon you. Amen. chariot to his heavenly palace gate. Hark the choirs of angel voices, joyful alleluia sing, and the portals high are lifted to receive their heavenly King. Who is this that comes in glory with the trump of jubilee lord of battles god of armies he has gained the victory he who on the cross did suffer he who from the grave arose he has vanquished sin and satan by death has crushed his foes. While he lifts his hands in blessing, he is parted from his friends. While their eager eyes behold him, he upon the clouds ascends. He who walked with God and pleased him, free 
preaching truth and doom to come. He, our Enoch, is translated to his everlasting home. Now our heavenly Aaron enters with his blood within the veil. Joshua now is come to Canaan and the kings before him quail. Now he plants the tribes of Israel in their promised resting place. Now our great Elijah offers double portion of his grace. He has raised our human nature on the clouds to God's right hand. There we sit in heavenly places, there with him in glory stand. Jesus reigns adored by angels, man with God is on the throne. By our mighty Lord's ascension, we by faith 